So the reason I started with stick to what you know, because it leads into this next segment, which is you have to stick to what you know with your product expansion. And the best way to scale your business is to have a customer avatar selected, understood, represented, and then built long-term. When you want to sell your business, you need to know your next 10 products you want to launch. You should have a spreadsheet with samples purchased, manufacturers lined up, quotes received, FOB quotes, et cetera. And, and if you have that sort of level of sophistication, when you go to scale, it's just a matter of checking a couple boxes, right? There's a lot of good business books that talk about how to overcome sophistication. I'll summarize it down to one soundbite. The more checklists you make, the better you're going to do as a business. As simple as that sounds. You can look at how they did this in the medical industry. So if, if somebody's putting in a catheter into the bloodstream, so we're talking like a, you know, some, some very sophisticated methodology, they often would kill people because of the infection risk. By creating a simple checklist, they improved the infection rates by something of, you know, 373% or something crazy high. And the other problem that they had is that the doctors thought they knew best and wouldn't follow the checklist. So then they had to get the nurses to follow the checklist and to, to be brave enough to overrule the doctor by having said checklist in their hand and reviewing it to make sure it occurs. So when you look at an Amazon business, you need to have checklists as many places as you can, which you could also say is basically a glorified SOP, standard operating procedure. So by having a checklist or an SOP that says, here's what we do and when we do it and why and when, then anybody can run the business. The best way to run and scale a business is to keep it simple and to allow for the lowest labor cost to run as much as possible. My agency is a great case example of this. So with over 550 employees, I have a $20 million run rate, and we do not have a single person on salary in the United States for any tactical role. The only roles that I will pay uh, a US-based salary for are twofold. One, client relations, or two, leadership. That is it. Any other role, whether it's finance or tactical, whether it's a PPC role, an SEO role, design role, 100% is outsourced. And so scaling and, and simplification and frameworks and things like that allowed me to take people with zero Amazon knowledge, pay the lowest I possibly could pay, and have the highest level of delivery possible. Why? Because I embraced the Filipino culture. I was able to create jobs over there. And they love me because I'm actually paying them more than their local economy affords. They love me because I teach them new skills and they learn things they couldn't get access to. And then I love them because they follow my damn SOPs. And Americans often resist following procedures and checklists, but yeah. a culture overseas will. Yeah. So outsourcing, yeah. another key to success. 